Well, I'm here today with Noel from Extreme Flight RC. How are you? Good, Chris. Good to see you. Thanks for having us. Great to see you as well. So tell us about some of the things that you've brought to the show this year. I see this is a pretty gorgeous airplane in front of us. Yeah, this is our uh, Legacy Aviation 44-inch Turbo Duster. So it's, it's modeled after the crop dusters you see out west, the turbocharged uh, crop dusters. Um, flaps, ailerons, uh, lots of fun to play with. Flaps up and down, full span ailerons. So this is electric only, 44 inch. Um, runs on uh, three cell 2200. Very cool, and it looks like maybe it's got a big brother over here. How do yeah. I get my hands on one of these? Well, not yet. This is the only one in the country. So this one we de debuted at uh, this fall. It's a 100 inch turbo duster. This one's using our 60cc electric motor. So that's 12 cell. Um, it also, you can run it on gas, uh, DA60. Uh, this should be available mid-summer, July, August. Don't hold me to it, but yeah, we're pretty excited about that. We can't wait to see a bunch of these flying out at local fields. Absolutely, and very cool to be able to get a sneak peek of the only one that exists right now. Yeah, exactly. So it looks like we've got a great lineup of engines here and some other airplanes down the table. Yeah, we're fortunate enough, we're selling uh, desert aircraft engines as well as our uh, X-Power electric motors. So they're designed specific for our, these electric motors are designed specifically for our planes, but can you be used in other applications. But we have a good relationship with DA. DA couldn't make it here this, this show, so we're happily selling their motors for them. So and everybody's happy that they can get some DA engines here. Fantastic. Yeah. So another great looking airplane here on the table. Tell us a little bit about this. This is our uh, sixth Legacy Aviation. Again, it's a Legacy Aviation series. We have a couple different series of aircraft. This is uh, the Legacy Aviation 65 inch Turbo Bushmaster. So this again has flaps, a fun sport plane, but can also is 3D capable. We try and don't want to exclude people by saying, oh, it, you know, it can 3D, but it's a great sport model. This and its big brother, the 84-inch, uh, this, this runs on 4-cell, the big brother runs on 6-cell. These are my favorite planes to take to the, to the field. If I have one plane, it's, it's one of these because I can sport fly with it, I can 3D it, I can hover it, and just shoot approaches with flaps and just sit in a chair and do it. It's great. So I can see we've got an awesome lineup of Horizon Hobby products here at the show this year. Why don't you tell our viewers a little bit about some of the uh, things that Horizon brought to the show? So the first and foremost, what we want to talk about, this is very, very new. This is the E-Flight Commander MPD. And we just announced this a couple weeks ago. They just started shipping literally two days ago. So they'll be available in stores probably by the time guys see this. Uh, as you can see, it's just a really good looking airplane. It was inspired by a lot of different full scale aviation designs. It's not a full scale airplane. It kind of looks like it is, uh, but it was inspired by airplanes like a Spitfire, um, Ryan STA. It's got a little bit of extra kind of in the nose. So you can kind of see it's inspired to be old fashioned, but modern, and it also flies fantastic. So we wanted it to be a great flying sport airplane, something that can handle some uh, rough terrain. Even you can fly this off of grass, even with the wheel pants like that. Also, it goes together extremely fast. Literally eight screws, that's it. Comes out of the box, it's ready to fly in a couple of minutes. Oh, and something else, oh, I can't show you because they screwed the wings on, but we have this uh, new hands-free servo connection system where the connectors for the aileron and flap servo are in the wing and in the fuselage. You don't have to touch them, you just slide the wing together and boom, they interlock. So that's gonna be a lot more convenient for guys. Even, you know, a small car, if you're transporting it, you wanna pop the wings off real quick, it's just two screws, no connectors to fuss with. That's a really, really great uh, convenient solution to that big problem. So um, this will be available again in stores as soon as probably next week or uh, just a couple days from now. And uh, this is available in both bind and fly basic form, which is $229.99. That includes our AR636 receiver, which has uh, AS3X and also what we call Safe Select. So Safe Select, a lot of guys probably know Safe is something that we've used in our trainer airplanes for a while. Now you have the option of turning it on or off. You don't have to use it, but it is in there if you want to learn how to uh, fly. Maybe this is your first low wing airplane. Maybe you are uncomfortable doing maiden flights. Turn safe on, get used to it, and after that you can turn it off if you'd like. Um, does have flaps out of the box, I wanted to show you that. Nice big flaps, those are already included right out of the box. And other than that, it's just a basic four channel sport airplane. 
Well, I'll tell you, if that airplane flies anywhere even close to as great as it looks, people are going to have a great experience with it that thing. Fantastic. Let me show you real quick also on the inside. So it's got a large battery compartment, fits everything, even though it's a relatively large airplane from a 3-cell 2200 we've flown it with, all the way up to about a 3200. You could probably even get a 4000 in there. And then also, I wanted to point out, it's got ball links all around. Just a nice little touch on both ends of the push rods, ball linkages. So really nice touch. That's great, and that's very representative of the things that you find with Horizon Hobby. You're buying a good quality product. Yep, we try to go above and beyond in the little details when we can. So tell us about this. This is a very unique airplane that's been around for a few months now, but a lot of folks maybe still haven't put eyes on this yet. Yeah, a lot of guys are saying they're glad to see this in person because even though we announced it, uh, I want to say late summer, and we've been shipping them since the fall, they're really hard to get. We literally can't get these fast enough. So um, if guys are interested and you want to get your hands on one, you need to back order one through your local hobby shop. You can back order one on our website, horizonhobby.com. Get your name on the list. That way, even though the next shipment comes in and we don't have enough, you'll hopefully then get it from the next shipment and so on and so forth. Because we've got guys who said, oh, I'm just going to wait till it's in stock, wait till it's in stock. I can tell you from the numbers we're seeing, it's probably going to be hard to get for months, from to, uh, for many months to come. So um, for the guys that aren't familiar with it, this is a vertical takeoff and landing aircraft. It literally takes off straight up vertical. And this is what we call multi-rotor mode. And then you flip a switch and it automatically transitions the motors, does an automated transition of about roughly four seconds, and it turns it into an airplane. And then it flies just like a regular airplane. Then when you're done, you flip the switch, it transitions back, and you can land in a nice small area. So very, very cool. And by the way, it does have um, what we call stability mode and acro mode. Stability mode is very similar to our safe technology where when you um, give it like a, an aileron or an elevator input, it has limited bank angles. And then when you let go of the stick, it goes back to level. So even if you've never flown a multi-rotor before, and let's say you're an airplane guy and you really want to try this, it's super easy to fly it in stability mode. And the same thing, if you're a multi-rotor guy who's never flown an airplane before, that stability mode is also available in the airplane mode. So it makes it very, very easy to fly as an airplane. And you can turn that on and off and go to acro mode in both either multi-rotor mode or airplane mode. So you can do flips, like when you're hovering, you can do flips, forward flips, back flips, rolls. And then when you're up flying it around as an airplane, it actually uses differential thrust for rudder. And you can do wild flat spins and kind of pinwheel spins. It's very, very, very cool. So it's the best of both worlds, multi-rotor meets airplane, but it's also a great, I wouldn't say challenge, but I would just say it's something that keeps you kind of engaged. It's very, very different. You know, I've kind of, I've flown a little bit of everything my whole life, and I like to find things that kind of push the limits and are different, and I love flying this thing. I take it out every time I can. I see a pretty cool A-10 down here that I would love to take a moment to talk about if you're willing. Yeah, of course, definitely. You can see already guys are looking at it because this is one of the stars of the show here. Uh, this is our brand new E-Flight UMX A-10. So it's our first ultra micro twin EDF. So we've done ultra micro jets, we've done ultra micro twins, but this is the first time we've done an EDF twin. And we picked this subject because obviously the A-10 is extraordinarily well known. And to be honest, it's one of the better flying plan forms in a jet. It's got a relatively large wing, kind of Hershey bar style wing. It's not super fast, it's pretty darn fast. And I will say it has a lot of power. Uh, let me see if I can grab it here. So there's that large wing that I was talking about, kind of Hershey bar shape. So it's relatively easy to, easy to, ta uh, to land. Um, it's got tons of power because it's got the twin motors. I wouldn't say it's unlimited vertical or anything like that, but it's almost one-to-one -one thrust to weight ratio. And it uses a two-cell battery, uh, like an 800 was what we have in here. This is the recommended battery, two-cell 800. And the nice thing is with this battery, you get about seven to eight minutes of flight time. And that's a lot of flight time for a jet. And it's good performance all the way through the pack. Uh, and then one thing I wanted to talk about is guys are having a hard time finding these. Um, so I would also recommend back ordering one with your favorite shop when you can. And then there's been some discussion of the nose breaking off. And so what we did in all of our ultra micro airplanes, we make the fuselages in two pieces. So there's like a top half and a bottom half. And the reason for that is so you can access the electronics. We hold it together with some small pieces of tape at different sections here. Uh, and the reason for that is so you can cut the tape and pull it apart if you need to replace electronics. However, because of that, the nose is a little bit flexible. 
And so if you land nose first, you have a bad landing, kind of bounce it, you can break the nose off. So one solution to that is we tell guys just take some thin foam safe CA, this is EPS foam, so you have to be foam safe. Just take some thin CA and run it down that joint all the way down there, it'll stiffen up the nose considerably. It shouldn't break off in a crash. You can also add some carbon fiber rods inside if you really want to, but we don't think that's necessary. And to be honest, all the guys in the office that have flown this numerous times, we've never broken a nose off. So it is something we want to acknowledge. It's something that we know guys are talking about, but we really don't want that to keep guys from buying it. And again, the quick and easy solution is just, just put some CA. That'll really make it a lot stiffer overall. Yeah, but other than that, it's a great looking, great flying airplane. Tell us a little bit about some of the things that you brought to the show this year. Um, this year, mainly we're showing our Lead Feather Yak, which is a 32-inch a foamy that we're selling pre-built, which are all set up. They have a Spectrum-compatible Lemon six-channel receiver, and they're all set to go so that you can basically do bind and fly. We also sell uh, the same plane in kit form and last year we came up with last year we came up with a mini version of it which is two-thirds scale and uses the same battery as the e-flight beast so we're, we're using that and this works well in a small indoor arena we're, we're flying these in elementary school gymnasiums during the winter time and it will fly outdoors in a 10 mile an hour wind and so you mentioned earlier as we were talking that you came up with something kind of cool to allow people to use that same plane indoors in the wintertime, outdoors in the summertime. And I think that's something that our viewers would really, really like to see. We ended up uh, coming up with a set of landing gear that people are using for the indoor venues. And we've 3D, 3D printed the parts so that we actually have it set up so that you don't have to wrap them with thread like a lot of the guys do and then you get CA all over everything. And the neat thing is that this actually unplugs and you can take these landing gear actually totally off and now you have an outdoor plane that is not gonna stub its toes on the grass. And you've got landing gear that you can plug back in next year. You're not breaking it off in order to make it an outdoor plane again. And I found from my customers' reactions and stuff that that's been very, very positive. We, you know, found because people want to be able to fly the plane year-round. They don't want to just fly it indoors, but at the indoor venues, they don't want to be bouncing it on the on the floor all the time. Um, so the landing gear works really well, and it also works well if you're trying to train people because it gives them the capability to take off without having to just hand launch the plane like we do outdoors. So it, it works out in both directions from that standpoint. Well, thanks so much for taking some time to talk with us. This has made my day. Excellent. I very much appreciate it. I hope Thank you have a great show. Much. Thank you.